So if you would like to use GarageBand with Zoom, here's what you do. You download a thing called uh, Black Hole, and I downloaded Black Hole 16 channel. And then you go into your audio MIDI setup, and you make a new multi-output device, <coughs> and I add into it the Black Hole 16 channel, and you want to make sure you mark uh, drift correction. And then this is my um, audio interface, sorry, that my microphone and my guitar can plug into. I added that into it as well. So we have that multi-output device created. And then you want to make sure you go into your sounds. And under the sound preferences on the Mac, <coughs> you want to make sure that the output is that multi-output device. My input is the Scarlett, so multi-output device. So then you go into GarageBand, and under preferences, for the audio MIDI, I want the output from GarageBand to be that multi-output device, and my input is my Scarlett. And then the last thing you do is under Zoom, under Preferences, under Audio, you want to make sure that the microphone is set to the Black Hole 16 channel. That multi-output device thing that we created has two things in it. It has Black Hole 16 channel and also the Scarlet. So the Scarlet is what I use to hear myself locally out of my local speaker or my headphones plugged into the Scarlet. And the Black Hole 16 channel is what's used to send out the audio, the same audio, um, to Zoom. And with all that set to go, you can then use GarageBand to give some effects to your vocals. Um, on your vocal tracks, you want to make sure that you have the monitor thing checked and you also want to make sure that record is armed such like that so it's flashing and i have a guitar plugged in here as well i have the uh, input monitoring set and the um, uh, record enabled enabled as well so you can hear the guitar and you can also hear my vocals both at the same time so that's how you can use GarageBand with zoom and make your online performances sound a little better. Thanks.